Good evening, friends. It's nice once again to bring you a short message regarding the scriptures and regarding the Lord Jesus Christ. It's surprising how quickly week passes week, but here we are well into autumn now, and it's nice to be with you again. I would just like to bring you a short message, and it's uh, concerning this. Um, a good number of years ago, when I was a young charge nurse working in the old Dunfermline and West Fife Hospital, maybe some of you remember that, it's well gone now, uh, but there we are, it was a good old hospital in its day. Well, I had a boss who had a saying when she was thinking about people who fell on hard times and were in difficult circumstances. She used to always say, they're down on the uppers. Well, I would like to tell you of a man in the New Testament of the Bible who, like that, he was down on his uppers until he met the Lord Jesus. And then the whole outlook of his circumstances and his outlook on things was radically changed. You can find the record of it if you want to turn to the scriptures. And the account of it is in Luke's Gospel in chapter number 18 and beginning at verse 35. Well, th this man was sitting by the roadside in a rather sad state until he heard that Jesus was about to pass by and a great crowd of people were with him. The man asked what all the commotion was and what was going on. And the people said, oh, it, he was told that Jesus of Nazareth is coming our way. Realizing his great opportunity, the man cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd tried to silence him and told him to, be, to keep quiet but he was determined to take hold of this wonderful opportunity that had come to him. And he kept calling with persistence, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Well, do you know? This was the last time that Jesus was to pass this way. And it was his last opportunity. It was his one and only opportunity indeed and to call upon the Lord Jesus Christ to have mercy on him. Jesus stood still and invited the man to come to him and asked him what he wanted. The man said, Lord, I need your help, for you are the only one who can help me. Jesus replied, man, receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. This resulted in an immediate transformation taking place in the man. Now, I was thinking that we are all down on our uppers spiritually. We may be quite affluent, or otherwise with this world's goods and values, but we are paupers spiritually. We are all naturally at a distance from a holy God because of our sin. And we cannot save or help ourselves, nor can anyone else. For all, we're all in the same situation. We have all sinned and we have all come short of God's glory. We cannot pay for salvation, nor yet can we pray for it, nor even can we work for it. Well, sadly, we are really down on our uppers spiritually. But how wonderful it is to be able to tell you that that need not be the end of the story. Because like the man that we've just mentioned, that uh, who sat by the wayside, the Lord Jesus can draw near to us and draw alongside in our sad spiritual plight. And while we cannot pay for salvation, nor can we work for it, we just give thanks to God that the Lord Jesus gave himself as a ransom for our sinful soul. How thankful 
to be able to tell you regarding the Lord Jesus Christ, who has paid the price, who has given at great cost, even the sacrifice of himself upon that cross at Calvary, to pay the ransom price for our salvation. And now we can be forgiven of our sins, we can be cleansed, we can be redeemed, and we can be brought back to God. What a change. What a transformation that would bring in our lives. That change if we believe, if we accept his offer of salvation, he, is, he would guarantee to lift us up from the depths of sin, to forgive us if we only come believing and we come and he will change our lives by coming into our hearts and into our experiences. Let us take the opportunity while Jesus is still offering and saying, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Cry out, Jesus, have mercy on me. Take me as I am. It may be your final opportunity, like the man that we've spoken about in the New Testament of the Bible. Just let me read one verse of that old favorite hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. It says in one verse, not the labor of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. Could my zeal no respite know? Could my tears forever flow? All for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Take the opportunity, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your own and personal saviour. Every blessing in your decision and may the Lord just come into your life's experience and transform you, give you a new hope, a new destiny, a new purpose when you trust him as your own and personal saviour. Thank you for listening to me today and may God bless you indeed.